Ladies and gentlemen, Habari Ghani, once again, the second day of Kwanzaa. And of course, we're honored to have with us throughout this entire week of Kwanzaa, none other than the professor and chair of the Department of Africana Studies at California State University, Long Beach, the chair of the organization US and the National Association of Kawaida Organizations, executive director of the African American Cultural Center and the Kawaida Institute of Pan-African Studies, co-chair of the Black Community Clergy and Labor Alliance, BCCLA. He's also the author of Essays on Struggle, Position and Analysis, Kawaida and Questions of Life and Struggle, Ma'at, the Moral Ideal in Egypt, in Ancient Egypt, that is, a study in classical African ethics, author of the Introduction to Black Studies, fourth edition, author of Husia's Sacred Wisdom of Ancient Egypt, author of Odu Ifa, the Ethical Teachings, and currently writing a major work on the social and eth ethical philosophy of Malcolm X, entitled The Liberation Ethics of Malcolm X, Critical Consciousness, Moral Grounding, and Transformative Struggle. And he's the recipient of numerous awards for scholarship, leadership, and service, including the Paul Robeson Zora Neale Hurston Award for Scholarly Work of African World Culture and the CLR James Award for Outstanding Publication of Scholarly Works that advanced the discipline of Africana and Black Studies and the Presidential Award for exemplary service and outstanding contribution to the field of Black Studies, all from the National Council of Black Studies. And he's also the subject of the book written by Dr. Malefi Asante, entitled Malana, Malana Karinga, An Intellectual Portrait. But he is here this week in his capacity as the creator of the Pan-African Cultural Holiday we all celebrate and learn more about Kwanzaa and the Nguza Saba and the author of the authoritative text titled Kwanzaa, A Celebration of Family, Community, and Culture. Here for this second day of Kwanzaa, where we say Habari Ghani, the principle for today is Kuji Shakalia, to define ourselves, name ourselves, create for ourselves, and speak for ourselves. We lit the black candle for Umoja. We move to the left and light the red candle for Kuji Shakalia today. And so we say, and we, we welcome our very special guest, Dr. Maulana Karinga. Dr. Karinga, Habari Ghani. Jema, and again, I should say, we say, well, how about the Ghani Umoja is the first thing. How about the Ghani, the answer, Kuji Chagalia, the self, second day, so I answer you, Kuji Chagalia, self determination. The second principle of for today is Kuji Chagalia, self determination. The text tells us that Kwanzaa, the text Kwanzaa, a celebration of family, community, and culture, tells us that. This means to define ourselves, to name ourselves, to create for ourselves and speak for ourselves. What does this mean? It teaches us to define ourselves by the good we do and the dignity bearing way we walk in the world. That's how we define ourselves, by the good we do, by being a faithful and consistent servant for the people. The Oduify tells us that all humans are divinely chosen to bring good into the world, that this is the fundamental mission and meaning of human life. And so we have to define ourselves by the good we do and the dignity bearing way we walk in the world. What does it mean to name ourselves? It means to name ourselves in reverent respect for our history and highest value. Not call ourselves names that the dominant society called us, not participate in our own oppression, not collaborate in our own oppression, but to name ourselves in reverent respect for our history and highest values. What does it mean to be the fathers and mothers of humanity and human civilization? What does it mean to be the elders of humanity, to be the people who stood up first, spoke the first human truth, and introduced some of the basic disciplines of knowledge in the Nile Valley? It means Africa, if it means anything, must mean excellence, right? And so we, name ourselves in the reverent respect of our history and highest values. And what does it mean to create for ourselves? It means to create for ourselves in a life-affirming, pardon me, in a dignity-affirming, life-enhancing, and world-preserving ways of our ancestors. And to speak for ourselves means to speak in ways that bring forth the best of our culture, the best of what it means to be African and human in the fullest sense, and reaffirms our ancient and ongoing commitment to bring 
and share good in the world. Christian Chuck Leo also teaches us that we must constantly dialogue with our culture, asking it questions and seeking from it answers in our, tenu- in, in our continuous quest to live full of free and meaningful lives and make a worthy contribution to the ongoing struggle to bring, sustain, and increase good in the world. This principle of Kujichagli, self-determination, is a principle of freedom. It calls on us to insist on the recognition of every person as a bearer of dignity and divinity, entitled to equal respect, as our ancestors taught in the sacred Husea, the sacred text of ancient Egypt. It reaffirms the moral imperative of respected each people and culture as a unique and equally valid and valuable way of being human in the world. And it urges us to embrace every day as an opportunity to bring good into the world in our own unique way as persons and a people, and to bring forth constantly the best of what it means to be African and human in the fullest sense. And Kutuchagalia reminds us of how Kwanzaa itself came into being as an act of freedom, as an instrument of freedom, and as a celebration of freedom. Born in the size and fairness of the Black Freedom Movement of the 60s, Kwanzaa becomes first an act of freedom, an act of breaking and rupturing with European culture, hegemony, and political domination, right? An act of being ourselves and freeing ourselves, which is the essence of our freedom movement, which always had a dual aspect to it, a struggle to be ourselves and to free ourselves. And we know we can't free ourselves unless we be ourselves, but we can't fully be ourselves until we fully free ourselves. So being and free, uh, struggling to be ourselves and free ourselves is inseparably linked. It is an act also, it's an, not only an act of freedom, but it's also an instrument of freedom. It was created to cultivate consciousness, right? Consciousness of our culture, conscious of our political obligation, conscious of our obligation to know our history and honor it, to engage our present and improve it, and to imagine a whole new future and to forge it in the most ethical, effective, and expansive ways. Kujus Tragalia teaches us that it was also, you know, in this act of freedom, this act of Kujichagalia, right? It was also a celebration of freedom, celebration of free minds and hearts, freed from the negative perception taught by the racist dominant society, freed from the catechism of impossibility taught to us, and able to actually imagine a whole new person, people, society and world and to commit ourselves to struggle for it. That's the beauty of this. And then finally, Kwanzaa was not only and is not only, it was and is an act of freedom, an instrument of freedom, and also a celebration of freedom, a celebration of our beautiful, soulful, sacred, resourceful, and resilient selves. And just imagine the beauty of that, this self-determination practiced by our people, by the millions throughout the world, African community, on every continent in the world, right? For these seven days, all these millions of people are turning inward and outward toward themselves and toward the world and celebrating the awesome meaning of being African in the world, which is not only an honor, but also an ethical obligation to bring and sustain good in the world. Amen. Amen. Folks, reflect today on who we really are. Not who we've been told we are, but who we really are. That's Kuji Shakalia. That's self-determination on the second day of Kwanzaa. Continue to light the candles. We'll be back tomorrow with Dr. Karinga, the creator of Kwanzaa and the creator of the Nguza Saba. Habari Ghani. And the response today amongst your friends, family, and loved ones is Kuji Shakalia. Remember, Habarigani now means what's the news? And you respond with Kuji Shakalia. Have a great day.